Hello? 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 Whoa, that's me. What up? Hello? What up, everybody? What up? 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 Do 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 do. Dy Crendor, that's me. That is me. Uh, what's going on? What up? What up, Blay Larson? What up, Lumber Zach? What up, Wonderful Mouse? What up, Sickler? What up, Brett? What up, HM Grant? Woo -wee. Uh, I am trying to get a thing to spawn. I'm very close to hitting uh, 8,000 sightless eyes, but there's no more bosses or anything spawning, so I'll just have to come back later. But I'm closing in on the halfway mark. I'm going to get my rat mount. I'm going to get that rat. Um, let me get the music going. Get that music going. A turtle made it to the water. Uh, illiterate Batman with a Twitch Prime. Thank you, illiterate Batman. Swag. And Trevor Slider subscribed. Thank you, Trevor. Swag. Woo. Oh, shit. Illiterate Batman rolled a 20. You get a bonus high five. Swag. And Trevor with the 19. Damn, some good rolls. Have a snack. Um. I don't really watch streamers. You're, you're the exception. Hell yeah. Thanks, dude. Um. How am I doing? I am tired. I am tired. <laughs> Why is that a, your alert? Why isn't it my alert? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with turtles making it to the water? Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's go to, uh... Vanillat with the subscription. Thank you, Vanillat. Swag. Thank you, Vanillat, for subscribing. Woot, woot. Because most of the time they don't. That's not true. Not when I'm the one in charge. I make sure all those turtles get to the water. I probably won't be going for a long time tonight. Uh, I only slept three hours. And I am... Mama Mia. <laughs> Same. Wowie. It is, uh, not the most fun thing. <laughs> Are you Wow Crendor? I am. That's me. Hey, I'm Billy. Shatra. Let's go to, uh... Let's go to the Outlands mounts. I already checked for Raven Lord today. Newsflash. Didn't get it. <laughs> That's alright. It'll boost the chances of getting Ashes of Alar, so we're all good. Uh, Shaskoop, 26 months. Wally, 26 months. Make it to the water study for physics test tomorrow. Nothing like some Kren ASMR to help. Hell yeah, Shaskoop. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 5, 6. Swag. Thank for the 26 months. I'm sapping cap 11 bits. Thank you for the bits. Yeah, so pretty much, uh, Sunday, I slept about 6 hours, right? I woke up, watched the Packer game at noon. So then, yesterday, <laughs> uh, I guess my body compensated and slept like 10 hours. So I slept from like, uh, I think like 5.30 a.m. until like 4 p.m. <laughs> uh, so I slept a long time. And then I was like, well, I guess I'm not going to bed till later tomorrow. And so I drank some coffee at like midnight 
and then I tried to go to bed at like six, like my my normal standard time, like a normal person, six a.m. And I woke up at nine a.m. this morning because they were mowing the lawn outside. It's like, and I was like, okay. <laughs> And I just like, I think it's because I'd already slept 10 hours the previous day, so I wasn't like fully tired, you know what I mean? And then I had my coffee, so I was still kind of like caffeinated, and I was like, I can't fall back asleep. So three hours of sleep it was, and I was like, I'll go get the oil changed on my car, so I did that. And I got breakfast like a normal person at 11 a.m. <laughs> and uh, then I filmed uh, our football podcast and then I uh, filmed a fishing with Crendor with s -Fane. went to the grocery store talked with all the nerds who were playing Destiny 2 I didn't play Destiny 2 I farmed mounts while I talked to them and then I was like well time to stream and now here I am trying to make it back to like 4am so I can go to bed at like 4am and wake up at like noon because you can't like fully like the thing I've learned from reset days and all that is you're always going to go back right so what I try to do now is like I get close to my like my body clock or whatever but like a little before it so like normally I'll go to bed like 5 five thirty. so I'm like you know what go to bed like 4 so it's uh, not as big of like a shock to your body and that's uh, it's usually better it usually works a bit better actually uh, it's not as drastic. The Zykes with the two months. Thank you, the Zykes. One, two. Swag. Thank you for the two months. <laughs> Only subbed to get the YouTuber I've watched to say my name. <laughs> hey, man, whatever makes you sub. Uh, da -da -da. Is this the real Wow Corridor? It's me. That's the one. I'm the I'm the one. That's me. I hope. <laughs> At this point, I don't know. At this point, I've been in, I've been awake too long to tell. Uh, I worked on my video a bit. I didn't like the second half of my script, so I like scrapped it, and I've been rewriting it. But I got the first half. First half of if fans ran BFA. Spicy. Some spicy stuff right there. We make fun of, let's see, let me give you a little insight. We make fun of Warfronts. We make fun of Tortolan world quests. We make fun of Azerite traits. Uh, a couple other things so far. So I mean, it's looking pretty solid. Uh, okay. So yeah, Destiny 2, listen, they're all playing Destiny 2. I just don't care. Were you and the rest of the guys supposed to raid today? We'll probably raid at some other point this week, not just... They're all... They're not as big of uh, WoW people as me. They just burn themselves out is what they do. So we'll probably raid at some other point this week when they're tired of Destiny. Destiny. <laughs> yeah, watching Destiny, like, I, I tried watching them play it. I tuned into, like, G Mart and Sam, and I was like, I can't do it. <laughs> can't do it, man. Uh,. With NFL bag and season, I need a reminder. Why do you root for the Packers more than the Bears? Because I grew up a Packers fan. That's pretty much it. There's no, like, complex reason. Like, well, it all started. Like, no, my dad was a Packers fan. I don't know why he was a Packers fan over a Bears fan, but, like, I guess he just really liked the team. He likes Wisconsin a lot. He liked the team. Because he'd, like, see them when they won their first couple of Super Bowls. And... So he just always was a Packers fan. And so, as somebody who was, you know, his son, 
he was like, I'm gonna make you a Packers fan, and here I am. A brainwashed Packer fan. <laughs> Whee! He is a White Sox fan, though, and I'm not. That's the only difference we got. But right now, it's working out for me, so I don't mind. Granted, the Cubs are losing for whatever reason. The Big Bad Wolf, 100 bits. These bits will give you luck, maybe. Dude, thank you for the luck bits, Big Bad Wolf. Thank you very much. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, but yeah. I've been having fun with YouTube again, dude. I've just, uh... I've just been focused solely on doing, like, machinima, pointless, and fishing videos. I like that. Whee! Uh, in fact, after this stream, I'll probably be making my uh, Fishing with Us fan video live. We uh, we did another football podcast today. Bear Taffy was on it. He's a Pats fan. Pats have been sucking, but like the thing is, every every other year the Patriots like start bad or they have like a few bad games and then they get good and then they just win. <laughs> That's usually what happens, especially if they get Josh Gordon back and healthy or like Edelman. Uh, all right, let's get these ashes of Alar. Power. My people are addicted to it. A turtle made it to the water. Last after the sun well was destroyed. What's the football podcast? Hold on, I'll do it while Kalthos talks for like ten years. No one can stop me now. Uh. Uh. Is this it? Sound cloud. Prepare yourselves. Here it is. Uh, if you're interested. And then this week I gotta do. Uh, I gotta edit this week, so we'll probably go up tomorrow. Some of my best advisors, the big bad Wolfie. Oh, it's Wolfie. Not just the big bad wolf. Wolfie. Just subscribe. Thank you, the big bad Wolfie. Swag. Blood for blood. Thank you for subscribing. We don't even know what we're calling the podcast yet. We called it Three Guys Talk About Football, but now Bear Taffy joined us, so I'm like, do we call it Four Guys Talk About Football? <laughs> Rob said we should call it Three Guys and a Bear Talk About Football. <laughs> We'll see. Some dudes talk about football. It's a pretty alright one. All I know is in fantasy football, I got Pat Mahomes. I got lucky. I took Jimmy Garoppolo and then I was like, you know what? Give me a Pat Mahomes just in case. Thank God I did that because he's uh, he's starting every week. And I cut Jimmy Garoppolo because he tore his ACL. I almost cut him anyway, but like now I'm like, oh, now I'm definitely cutting him. He's going to carry me to the promise line. Nine out of one with the four months. Thank you, nine out of one. One, two, three, four. Swag. Thank you for four months. Hey man, I just want to stop by. I love the series you're in with Jesse, the Strange for Grade, super good man. Thanks, dude. We're recording more of it tomorrow, I believe. I think we're finishing the game tomorrow. We've already recorded a lot of it. Jesse's got like all the backlog. But uh, I think we're finishing it tomorrow. It's hard to record because we got to run off like scheduling and Dodger's schedule is like, hey, I have a baby. So we have to like pretty much go with Dodger. Cry also recommended I try ox bile for my gallbladder stuff because he was like, dude, I was getting stomach pains too from eating food and then I took this ox bile and now I feel great. And I was like, all right, screw it. I'll try it. <laughs> He's 
He's a fellow gallbladderless guy. Yeah, ox bile. It's because uh, ox have like similar bile to our bile and so when you don't have a gallbladder if you eat like a really fatty meal you like take an ox bile supplement and it just helps you digest the fats easier than having them sit in your stomach undigested so you mainly just use it if you eat like a really fatty meal but cry was doing keto and so he was like yeah man like i was getting really bad stomach pains and then uh, I read about this on the internet, tried it, and it's been a lifesaver. And I was like, you know what? I've been having the same thing. Screw it. Give me some of this ox bile. <laughs> so whatever, man. <laughs> Can I just attack? That'd be great. Aaron's been slacking all season. I mean, he's also been hurt, but like... The slackers have been Randall Cobb dropping passes. Uh, the referees for calling roughing the passer on every play <laughs> that Clay Matthews touches somebody. Stupid. Here it comes. Kalthos Rave never gets old. Nope. Nothing. That's a no go, Johnson. That's a no go. That's a no go. A no go. <laughs> Get me out of here. Well, I guess we'll head to, uh, so we'll head to the Isle of Kelthalas and hope we can get the other Kaelthas mount. Hey, if I can get one or the one of the two mounts, if I can get any mount, I'll be happy. Cause whenever you get a mount, that's the end goal. It means you don't have to run that place ever again, and you add to, you add to your collection. So there's just no downside. Granted, um, there are some places where I'd kind of miss running them. <laughs> But at the same time, I wouldn't, because I would have a map. Alright, so let's head on out. Where else should I go today? I'll do Isle Kalthwas, I'll do... Um... Baron Riven there. Uh, ICC? Yeah, we can do ICC. We'll do that. And I'll see how I feel after that. Uldwar. I'm not really in an Uldwar mood. I'm in an ICC mood. Uh, can't believe I've gotten two Blazing Drakes. Yeah, you can't really solo farm BFA mounts unless you're doing like the the mounts that drop off random mobs like the pack mule or the horse or the blood thingy or the hyena. I mean, I could always get a group and farm those, but that's at the point where it's like, I don't know. I can do that whenever, you know, like I don't need to wait for lockouts and stuff. Like, I think once I do all my raid lockouts and dungeon lockouts, then I'll farm uh, those mounts. Do I have almost every mount? Wow, no. 
Not at all. I only have, uh... I only have 178 mounts. Like, I only really started mount collecting. Back in... Oh, Jesus. Back, like, a few weeks before BFA hit. I think it was, like, a week before BFA. Because I was like, alright, well, I'm gonna start playing the game again. And I was like, but there's, like, nothing to do. You know? And I was doing the... The quest in... Um, Dark Shore to get gear for my warrior. And I was like, hey, what if I just go farm some mounts? <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> Will I be at BlizzCon? I should be. I'm planning on it. <laughs> Barring I don't need, like, my other toenails removed or another organ taken out or another crown put in. <laughs> but I just went to the dentist and I didn't have any fillings or crowns for the first time in, like, forever, so that was at least promising. TC Pile at 100 bits. Sure could go for a cupcake right about now, but have it instead. Hey, thanks. The old gallbladder. Dude, the thing... Everybody made it out to be like, dude, you get your gallbladder out. All your problems are gone. The end. It's not the end. <laughs> They don't tell you, even the, the surgeon guy is like, you can eat anything, you can eat pizza, you can eat hamburger, you can eat whatever. They tell you that, and it's kind of true. But then when you overdo it, you irritate your stomach and you irritate your, like, other organs because you don't have enough bile. Was the surgeon Russian? He's actually very Eastern European. <laughs> And he is like, you need gallbladder out. If you get gallbladder out, you can. It, when you leave stone in, right? You have big stone. If you leave stone in, it block bile duct. You get infected. You die. And I was like, all right. Well, I don't want to die. <laughs> That's what happened to Cry. Actually, the stone got blocked in his bile duct, and he pretty much didn't even know that's what it was. So he was just like, eh, I got some uh, stomach issues. And he waited forever, and then he went into the hospital, and they were like, you're, uh, you're going, like, gangrene, like, septic and shit. So they had to take his, uh, gallbladder out. Cry is alive. <laughs> he almost died, I said. Because he had a, he had the same thing as me, and the stone blocked his, uh, bile duct, and it got infected. And, he, uh, he was out for, like, a month. So, I wasn't out for a month, because I was like, I don't want that to happen, take my gallbladder out. <laughs> I took the uh, early precaution route to like, I don't want that. My stone blocked it, gave me pancreatitis, oh my god. I actually think I got like a little bit of that towards the end of it. So I remember I ate a really fatty meal, and I was like, ugh. Um, and I never had a pain like that, and they are like, yeah, it's probably pancreatitis. So that was also fun. <laughs> and I nev I've never had a pain like that since then, actually. It was a, it was a very noticeable pain. <laughs> like, you would eat food and be like, ah, uh, and just like lay on the floor like, ah. Uh. <laughs> and I haven't had it again, so I mean, knock on glass. <laughs> um... But yeah, so... Oh, you had your gallbladder out at 13? Mamma mia. Have you been alright with all that? My thing is, like, I also have so many other, like, digestive things that get irritated. You know? Like, I also have IBS. I had mild gastritis. Uh, so I have, like, all these other things happening in addition to that. My problem is, then it gets a little better, and then I'll be like, Oh, alright, I can eat badly again, because I start feeling better, and then I'm like, What, I eat badly, and I get, like, stomach pains and stuff again. <laughs> it's fun, let me tell you. So, uh, yeah, Cry had that as well, <laughs> except on a far worse scale. So he was like, dude, I tried keto, and my stomach was dying because I couldn't digest all the fats. 
because I have no gallbladder, but he's like with this ox bile, it's been a like lifesaver. And I was like, dude, hook me up. So he gave me the link and I'm like, I'll try it. <laughs> uh, oh wait, I don't even have to go down there. I was going for Raven Lord. I don't need to. Shadow Stew with the 13 months. Thank you, Shadow Stew. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Swag. Thank you for the 13 months. Oxbile. What's it taste like? I mean, it's just like a pill. <laughs> Doesn't taste like anything. Well, it'll taste like bile. <laughs> Oxbile sounds made up. Well, I mean, every animal has bile. Because bile is what your liver produces to digest food and fats. And your gallbladder holds the bile, excess bile. And so when you need excess bile, when you eat like a big fatty meal, it goes like and it squirts some out into, uh, into your stomach and helps you digest the fats. But when you don't have that and you eat an overly fatty meal, it just kind of sits in your stomach and gives you... Uh, stomach pains and then tries to move through your colon and gives you colon pains and then you know or you just uh have a lot of fun <laughs> sitting on the toilet so yeah <laughs> trust me i've learned far more than i ever thought i would know about the gallbladder and the functions of the digestive system <laughs> far more than i thought i would ever know And the thing is, like, I always go to doctors and I'm like, hey, I got a pain here. And they're like, yeah, it's scar tissue from the gallbladder thing. And I'm like, oh, okay, what about this? They're like, yeah, it's gas pushing up against the scar tissue. And I'm like, but what about this? And they're like, well, you're uh, eating fatty foods. Don't do that. And I'm like, but I got to gain weight. I'm becoming buff door. And they're like, well, too bad. <laughs> I even saw like a gastro, I saw like a gastro specialist and he was like, yeah. Sounds normal. <laughs> I was like, what? I swear to God. I see more doctors than like my grandma. <laughs> At least I'm getting muscular though. So I mean, I got some plus sides. Let's think of the positives. I'm getting muscled out. My toenails are growing back. <laughs> there we go. Positives. Whee! Dungeon. Okay, we're good. Am I stronger than Cat? Probably not. Cat's very strong. Powerful Cat. Um, I am definitely stronger than when I started a month ago. I do know that. I have a lot more muscle definition. That's the main thing I've noticed is my muscle definition. Like, instead of being a flabby stick boy, I'm starting to get, like, definition in my muscles. I don't know if you can see it on webcam or anything, but like that's what I've mainly noticed. Or like my back muscles and whatever. Pretty much your muscles are functioning now, because instead of sitting there doing nothing, they're like, oh shit. You know, this guy's lifting weights now. <laughs> Positives you didn't die. That's true. I could have died getting my gallbladder out for all I know. They could have did some weird, like, one of those surgical miss slips. Like, whoops, drop the... <laughs> drop the scissors into his thing. He's dead. So, I mean, I lived that out. I could have got MRSA or some shit. Like, I don't know. I'm still going. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not all bad luck. Zavisky with the 13 months. World of Warcraft, go back to Fortnite where you belong. Don't you ever mention Fortnite around me again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Swag. They were the 13 months. I had Mercer once. Good time. Oh, God. That sounds awful. Bit rates taken. A what the shit? It did this yesterday. Why is it doing this? Why is it doing this? Do I need to up the bitrate? 
Northern Lion is raiding you with a party of 1300. Does Northern Lion know I'm not playing NHL 18? I think he might be confused. This is a World Warcraft stream, not an NHL stream. <laughs> Crendor looks like Robert? Dude. Alright. Rob. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Rob looks like if Ego Raptor. Uh. You know. <laughs> put on a few pounds. Alright. If Ego Raptor drank a lot. All right, I'm gonna say it. Everybody's thinking it. <laughs> Listen, I just did a podcast with Rob today, all right? All right, he's allowed to drink. He's a Jets fan. I'd drink a lot too if I was a Jets fan, but I'm not, okay? Uh, let's see, they lost to the Browns. They lost to the Browns. I repeat, they lost to the Cleveland Browns. The Browns haven't won a game in two years. They're somehow worse than the Vancouver Canucks. And that's pretty bad. Thank you for the raid, Northern Line. <laughs> Merely a setback. Dude, I actually bought... I actually bought NHL 18 because I, uh, I saw uh, Northern Lion playing it, and uh, I was playing as the Blackhawks. It's pretty fun. I haven't played an NHL game since NHL 14-15, whenever Patrick Kane was on the cover. When was the Patrick Kane one? Patrick Kane NHL game. Patrick Kane, and that was 11. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. It's been a while since I've played NHL. <laughs> I was like, what's that? 15? All right. NHL. What was NHL 12? Actually, I think I played NHL 12. That had the one of the Sedin sisters on it. NHL 13? Don't think I played 13. Actually, you know what? I might have played 13 and not 14. Or 15. Or 16. No, I played 16. Because it had uh, Taves on the cover. That's the last one I played. The one with Taves on it. 16. Alright, that's who it was. I was thinking of Taves with the Stanley Cup. Man, I remember when the Blackhawks used to win Stanley Cups. That was fun. Now they're bad again. <laughs> um... You ever pictured me with a beard? Subscribe. I mean, I've had a beard for a long time at this point. I used to not have a beard. I used to have no hair. Um. Hold on. <laughs> well, I got no mount. Hold on. Let me find a picture real quick. Here we go. Uh, old Crendor. I mean, you can do this yourself, but like, nobody's gonna do it. Uh, old Crendor. All right, maybe don't search old Crendor. Crendor. Uh, oh, here we go. Here I am. This is uh. <laughs> this is nineteen twenty. I think this is like twenty year old Crendor. This is a young Crendor. All right. That's a young Crendor. That was when I started YouTube in 2009. 2010? Probably a little more 2010 ish. So, about eight years ago. Um, as you can see, the wilderness has encapsulated my being. Vicarious Kiwi, 69 bits. There were 69 bits. UC Slayer, 5 bits. Oak AIDS Cody with the six months halfway to the nerd day. Thank you, Oak AIDS Cody. One, two, three, four, five, six. Swag. Um, yeah, I mean, I've went through various phases. I feel like everybody goes through phases, but there's some people on YouTube that have gone through, like, no phases at all. 
or like maybe one phase there's some people there's like a few youtubers i've watched they've gone through like 10 phases like crazy changes they like rebrand themselves 10 times they're like hey guys i'm not a sports streamer now i'm a video gamer hey guys now i'm not a hashtag gamer now i'm a you know poker player now i'm not a poker player and now i'm irl now i'm not IRL. it's like all I did was I grew some hair, I grew a beard, my voice got progressively even more deeper, and I gained some confidence and money. And really, that'll change a person. And all it's really done to me is just... I don't know. <laughs> and I lost my gallbladder and my toenails. Um, yeah, the Jesus phase. Dude, oh my god, I got a story. So yesterday, hold on, look at this. Dude, the last time I got a haircut was with my gallbladder surgery. Uh, back in February. So my hair's been growing out since February. But my beard I've shaved, uh, or not shaved, but like trimmed it. My beard grows faster than my actual hair. <laughs> uh... What was I saying? Oh yeah, a story. So I got a story. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, I finished doing stuff, and I was like, all right, the Steelers are playing the Bucks, and there's like a bar close by. Not like a dive bar, but like a fancy bar with like a restaurant and people in it. And I was like, all right, I'll go get some food. I'll get a beer and, uh, you know, watch the Steelers-Bucks game, right? So I go in. Uh... And I sit down, and I sit, like, I hate it when, like, every seat is taken. Where it's, like, every seat, and then there's, like, one seat in between people. It's kind of like at urinals, where you don't want to be between people, and you always want to, like, spread out. But if there's no, there's no spreadage, you gotta, you gotta go in. So, uh, I had to sit down next to this couple, and this other guy... One dude was just watching sports like I wanted to do. I was like, all right, whatever. And the other people were on a date. So it was this girl and this guy on a date. Uh, and so I was like, all right, well, let's listen in. So I was like watching the sports like, yeah, but I was also listening to their thing. And so uh, the girl was just like, ah, football. Do you like football? And the guy's like, yeah, I like the Bears because I'm in Chicago. Uh and she's like, I heard they're good now. And he's like, yo, like, Khalil, they got this guy named Khalil Mack. And, like, he plays, he's so good. Like, he's, he's like the best player in the NFL. And he's just like, he's really good. And she's like, wow, that's crazy. Um, and then she started talking about how she liked beards. Because they showed Fitzpatrick, right? And his beard's like actual man that lives in the wilderness level. And she's like, yeah, I really like beards. And he's like, do you like that beard? <laughs> and she's like, no. Uh, that's a that's kind of a crazy beard, but it's still like a good beard. And then, she's, then they'd be like, what about that beard? And they showed like Cole Hamels on the Cubs because it was like the Cubs post game. And she was like, that's a good beard, but like it should be longer. And he was like, well, and he had like the same style of beard that she just said it should be longer. And he's like, what? Well, it took eight years to grow out my beard. The guy's beard wasn't even a beard. It was a goatee. It was a goatee. It wasn't a beard. It was like this, but like not even long. It took him eight years. Eight years. Uh... And I know there was a point that they they must have mentioned my beard because I've, like, looked down at my phone. But I, you know, I still got my, like, eyes kind of like, yep. So I was looking down at my phone, and, like, he looked over at me, and she, like, looked over at me and, like, stared for, like, three seconds. And then they, like, looked back. They noticed the beard. Uh, And then <laughs> I was like, this is, like, probably their second or third date, you know. They seem like they're getting along. But then it hit. The <laughs> the uh, the guy's like, "Yo, what if like 
I were to just pick you up on Thursday to take you out. How would that sound? And she's like, that's kind of soon. And he's like, oh, story of my life. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> it's over. It's so it's over. Get me out of here. The fact that he had the fact that he even had to say story of my life was like the ultimate like f friend zone move. Like, oh chucks. Story of my life. <laughs> like, come on. Just be like don't be like that. Just be like, alright, well how about Friday? Like make it you know, strike again. Make another move. Don't just be like, woe is me. <laughs> That was like, I was like, dude, right at that moment, I was like, if I was that girl, I would have friend zoned you on the on the spot. I've been like, no way, dude. That's all I'm saying. He did. He turned into Droopy Dog. Uh, and then she also got a drink, and she didn't like her drink, because she was like, give me a fruity drink. And then the woman gave her, like, the bartender gave her, like, a ice, uh, gave her, like, an uh, and bloop, an alcoholic Arnold Palmer. It's not even fruity. It's just lemonade. Is a lemon a fruit? Uh, and then she was like, hold on. I'll throw some raspberry in there. And so she did. But then the girl didn't like it. And meanwhile, the guy was like, he was on like his third beer, maybe fourth. And I was like, all right, well, and he's like, what's wrong? You don't like your drink? And she's like, no, nah, I don't really like it. And he's like, come on, you gotta, you gotta drink it. And I was like, oh no, this is getting, this is, this is getting, this isn't going to a good place. And so, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the game ended and then she kept like looking at her phone and I was like, well, Looks like I'm leaving. <laughs> and then I left. Uh, so yeah. Did they go on another date? I would say no. But you never know. If I had to put money on it. If I had to bet the Vegas odds. I'd say no. No they didn't. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? A couple must have been more interesting than the game. Well I always... I'm the person who, like, people watches. Here's the thing. I people watch because I need material, right? I'm not like, ooh, <laughs> I'm going to try to snoop on these people just because. Like, I'm like, dude, all right? I do Cox and Crendor every week. I do streaming. I need material, right? I got to talk about some stuff. So when you just listen to people at breakfast or whatever, as long as you're not, like, standing over them, like, <laughs> You know, if you're just minding your own business and they're just talking loud enough for you to hear them, there's nothing wrong with that. They chose to talk loudly in a public space, and I have the the ears to listen. It's not weird. If you don't want to be heard, don't go to a public restaurant and talk loudly. Stay at home. That's all I'm saying. Either way, great material. <laughs> It's not weird. What are you like? What are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to sit there and be like, I can't, I can't hear anything. Just like bla try to blatantly ignore it, just to not be weird. Listen, I'm already weird. All right, I'm already weird. So it's it, does that make it even weird because I'm already weird? If weird is my normal. You have a talent from remembering miscellaneous stuff like well yeah because I think that's the most interesting part I just like seeing people interact with other people I always love just like if I go to the mall like just people watching you know you just walk around you just look at like see who's there like one time there's this dude at the mall wearing like a tuxedo and this woman in stilettos at the mall that were like this tall and she was walking and like wobbling and if she took one wrong move her ankles were done they were gone but she was like gripped onto his arm and he was like it was so weird that's like that's the type of thing I live for I love it 
There was one time in LA where I was visiting uh, all the nerds out in LA and me and Jesse went to the mall and it was like an outdoor mall and we were walking around and this man, this like uh, meatball, he's kind of like a meatball. He's like very round and short and he's carrying a, he's carrying a sub. And then he was like looking at a pigeon and he was like yelling at the pigeon. And he was like, you don't get my meatball sub. You don't get my meatball sub. And I'll never forget that moment. Now, what am I supposed to do? Like walk past him like nothing's happening? Because there's people that do that. They'll just walk past him like, hmm, <laughs> I don't know. It's like, how do you not notice a man yelling at a pigeon with a meatball sub? That's like, it's gold. That's prime material. Wishy-washy with the 100 bits and the 1 bit. Thank you, wishy-washy. That's all I'm saying. If you do that, you're lying to yourself. <laughs> you're lying to yourself. Uh, oh my god, speaking of meatballs. Uh, one time, <laughs> I was at a Blackhawks game with my aunt. And, uh, she likes the Blackhawks a lot. This was like 2013, 2012. It's around there. Uh, it was when everybody started getting into the Blackhawks again because they were winning. So everyone's like, woo, Blackhawks. Uh, and <laughs> there's this, this group of guys, meatball guys. So in Chicago, we got meatball guys, which just like I said, they're like short, stubby, uh, beer belly guys. And they talk like the stereotypical, like, let me tell you what to do. That's a meatball. So, these meatball guys clearly had just finished working and then came to the uh, the stadium to see the game. And the, there's like a family, like a mom with her kids there watching the game. And the guy was coming back with his beer. And he's carrying him like this. You know, you like walk down the aisle, like, excuse me, excuse me, like get to your seat. Well, he's doing that to get back to his seat. And he spilled beer <laughs> on the mom and on one of the kids. And they were just like, oh my God. And they like looked at him just in disgust. And he was like, eh, eh, that'll come right out. It'll come right out in the wash. <laughs> That's what he said. It'll come right out in the wash. He didn't apologize. He wasn't like, sorry. He said it'll come right out in the wash. Then, uh, <laughs> time goes by. Uh, probably like another like 20 minutes or so. We're watching the game and I forgot what it was. Somebody got hit on the, uh, and they were playing the Islanders, some like shitty team. Uh, sorry, Islanders fans, but they're, you know. Uh, so, and one of the Blackhawks guys like elbowed him or something and he just started screaming. He was like, hit him below the belt, hit him below the belt. And he said, he like kept saying it over and over, hit him below the belt. And I still don't know what that means. I don't know if he meant to like check him below the belt or to like trip him or to like, you know, hit him with the stick below the I didn't was he saying a nut shot was that his thing all right well <laughs> that's uh that's what he kept saying so I guess he wanted him to give him the nut shot and uh they were very entertaining very entertaining people luckily I didn't get beer spilled on me though so I didn't care as much Oh, no mount. All right. The Zykes, 105 bits with meatballs. Thank you, the Zykes, for the meatball bits. Thanks. So, yeah. That was, uh... <laughs> that was my Blackhawks game experience the one time. All the other times were normal. They were just, like, a bunch of typical fans yelling. I've been to a few Bulls games. Bulls games, pretty much the same. Then I've been to, uh, I went to one Packer game. And we picked the worst Packer. We went to a Packer Bear game at Soldier Field. Me and my dad. And it was 2007. 
and the Packers were doing great. And it was like Brett Favre's final year as a Packer. Uh, and then the game at Soldier Field was like zero degrees. And it was like 40 mile an hour wind gusts. And the Packers just got destroyed by the Bears. And he just had to sit there and listen to like over and over in the cold. Just like, wow. I'm glad, uh, glad I, glad I came to this sporting event. Uh, where do I want to go? Orgrimmar. Oh, I might go to ICC. That's where I go. Um, so yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, oh, Cubs. I've been to a lot of Cubs games too. Uh, Cubs games are great. Last time, uh, I took my friend Nick. My friend Nick came in from Vegas a few years ago. Whatever year the Royals won the World Series, that's the year we went, because we saw the Cubs play the Royals. Uh, and so... Where do I gotta get? Oh, Wormrest Temple. And so, uh... We went to the Cubs game, and we went into the section that was filled with Royals fans. It was just filled with Royals fans. Yeah, it's 2015. And I was like, why are there so many Royals fans here? And he was like, I don't know. It was filled with them. And the lady next to us, first pitch of the game, Royals hit a home run. And we were just like, huh, all right. And the lady next to us wearing her Royals cap, this like 50-year-old woman, not the bleachers, it was like the upper deck behind the thing. She's like, why aren't you clapping? Like, why, why do you think I'm not clapping? I don't like the Royals. <laughs> we're in our home. We're in our home stadium. <laughs> and she was serious about it. And she was like, hey, how about I root for the Cubs when they do something and you root for the Royals when they do something? And I was like, why would I do that? And then she just never talked to us again. Then <laughs> there's another Royals woman on the other side that had a shirt and in classic Kansas City, Missouri fashion, the shirt said namaste y'all namaste y'all that was like the most <laughs> yoga southern yoga thing namaste y'all uh Cubs lost that game. <laughs> it wasn't good. What are you gonna do? Jason Grimm is 500 bits. Namaste, y'all. Thank you, Jason. And Vicarious Kiwi, 42 bits. Verkathos, four months. Four months, wowie. Well, that slot day's coming up fast. Thank you, Verkathos. One, two, three, four. Swag. Uh, oh, yeah. Y'all is more southern than Missouri, but Missouri. Missouri? <laughs> Missouri. Uh, Missouri's like the south of the Midwest. I mean, just go to Missouri. Does anywhere in the U.S. say use? Yeah. Uh, probably like the east <laughs> or the like Chicago or up in Wisconsin or something. Well, not even Wisconsin. Wisconsin, like Wisconsin and the Upper Peninsula, Michigan and Minnesota is more like, oh, don't you know? Use guys is more like East East Coast. These guys use guys. Use don't, use don't. What was it? We were at PAX East in Boston, and the one police officer guy was like, "Where are you going?" And we were like, we're going over here. And he's like, all right, go over there. And he's just yelling for no reason. I think the people in Boston just like to yell. Only by Hold on, together, can I buy shit? Succeed. What is this? Yes. Uh, I need yeah. Primordial Serenite. All right. I don't even know where to get, get that. Uh... Dude, and then when I was in Boston, I had a wall burger. Cause they had a bunch of wall burgers everywhere, and I was like, hey, isn't this the Mark Wahlberg restaurant? 
it was pretty mediocre. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Oh, the Dalaran vendor? Huh. Yeah, come on. Whee! Alright. So I think if I get it, I can, uh, skip a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, okay. But part of me likes doing it all, so I don't mind. Wahlberg's really sucks. Go to five guys. Oh, well, yeah. Five guys is a lot better. Ooh, rusted bone spike pauldrons. These don't look like rusted bone spike pauldrons. Where's the bones? Where's the spikes? Well, I guess I see the bone, but I don't see any spikes. Uh... I mean, who else lives near Boston? Mathis? Mathis lives near Boston. But Mathis is like, you know. It's Mathis. You have found your way here because you are among the few gifted with true vision in a world crying in a beer cheese soup. Through the fog that hangs over this Woo. world like a shroud. It's disturbing. And you dare you trespass, dare trespass and move. Oh. Jesus Christ, just nonstop words. It was like changing what she said every two seconds. Uh, any food joints you like in Chicago? I love Eduardo's Pizza. I haven't even heard of an Eduardo's Pizza. I mean, I like Lou Malnati's. I like Portillo's. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to think of things on the spot. Did you learn the Orb of the Sindori toy? I already had it, so I didn't have to learn it. Whee! Alright. Okay. Um, Primordial Serenite's really cheap on the AH. Oh, okay. Wait, where's- what do you get Light's Vengeance from, then? Is that another thing I can buy? Or where do I get it? You go to Chinatown for the good Chinese. We actually went to Chinatown with the. Uh, with our friend Tina. And we got hot pot. And we got Korean pot. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Korean food one time. It's pretty good. I like the. I liked it. Do, 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 do. It's weird because it's like you're so used to like Americanized Chinese food and then you eat like actual Chinese food where they're like, hey, here's pork liver. And I'm like, oh, okay. Wasn't a big fan of that one, but I did like the mushrooms they had and some of the other stuff. They give you the shrimp. They give you like the re they give you like the whole shrimp. Like the eyes. They give like they caught it, killed it, and then they give it to you. And they're like, here you go. I'm like, alright. Um I still like it though. I'm not uh, I'm not dissing it. It's a good shrimp. You just gotta work for it. Eric P with the 19 months. Thank you, Eric P, for the 19 months. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Swag. Thank you for the 19 months. Um, Light's Vengeance is a unique quest mob in a cave? Cave near Nax. Oh, I think I remember that now. I'm getting flashbacks. Uh, do, 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 do. I like Korean food a lot. I really like kimchi. It's good for your digestion too. And then I like uh I like bulgogi stuff. I had a really good good I had a really good uh bulgogi stew soup thingy. Fire, fire. I don't know if I can eat Indian food anymore without a gallbladder. Cause last time I had Indian food, I just died. <laughs> it's 
So I don't know if I can handle that. Annihilate them. Uh, I don't know what other kind of food do I like. Uh, I like sauerkraut. I'm like half German, so I mean I like some German stuff. I like brats. <laughs> brats, sauerkraut, and beer. That's the German diet. My one grandma lived to, my great grandma lived to be like 92 eating like brat sauerkraut and beer. <laughs> Listen, I'd live to 92. I'll take 92. Uh, do, do, do. Now is not the time for pleasantries. Corcoran, move out. Oh yeah, the chest the loot. Watch your backs. The scourge have been caught. Join me, do. Why is everybody linking Bowsette? Bowsette just like randomly appeared on my Twitter feed and every other thing that I look at. In a matter of like 48 hours. Shinuzumi with the two months. Thank you, Shinuzumi. One, two. Swag. Thank you for the two months. Oh yeah, I like Euros. I like Greek food. I am stronger and more powerful than you ever were. <laughs> we named him Dranosh. It means heart of Draenor in Orcish. We named him Dranosh. My boy would be safe, hidden away by the elders of Garadar. Bowsette's one of those things where I was like, haha, and then, you know, the internet keeps going with it. And they run it into the ground. And then they're like, what if we made Boo Set and Goomba Set and every other thing into a Rule 34 Peach-esque, uh, <laughs> you know. Thing. Pathetic. Top Arctic Wolf for the four months. Thank you, Top Arctic Wolf. One, two, three, four. Swag. They were the four months. There's too many rules for me to remember. Too many internet rules. Uh, I have not gotten a mount yet today, so it's been kind of... Disappointing, but that's all right. Cause we're gonna get invincible. What are they called? Invincible? If you can't even see it. All right. Let's go get my loot. Okay. Hey, I got another uh, Primordial Serenite. That's good. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I don't know. What other stories do I got? I don't know if there's any other uh, crazy stories I can remember. Uh, most of my stories I just bring up on Cox and Crendor. Here, let's go ahead and do this wing first. Even dying here beats spending another day collecting reagents for that madman Finkelstein. Oh, that mad, mad Finkelstein. No matter how dark we the battle, our champion is the same. We push our way through the hall. We. This part's always annoying because you gotta like kill them one at a time. Quickly, push on. I think I like doing the uh, future side wing last. I think it just feels best. Maybe it's because that's what I actually did in Wrath. I don't know. Maybe not though. Actually, I think we did future side first. Thinking back to it. Uh, don't forget to loot the Viants for pet drop. Oh yeah. 
Hey, there we go. Whoops. Um. So yeah. Oh no. We. Trying to think of any other stories. I've been going to the gym a lot, obviously. I don't know if there's any crazy gym stories I have though. Normally when I go to the gym, it's just. Either like a bunch of old people rehabbing, uh, or like just people getting off work or school going to the gym. I I prefer to go when the old people are rehabbing, cause they just I don't know. You feel better about yourself rather than like when you go and all the people are out of work and then there's like, Buff Man Johnson like, pumping like a thousand pound weights and I'm like ha ha <laughs> but when I go and the old people are there they're doing like their two pound weights and I'm like yeah I'm the strongest one here da, 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 da. have you witnessed anyone hurting themselves at the gym oh I actually think I did yesterday yesterday uh what's the thing I don't know what, like, a lot, like, half the stuff is there. I know, like, what I do. Pretty much, I, uh, I got a trainer for, like, two sessions, and they taught me how to do, like, a bunch of the machines and some free weight stuff, and, like, a deadlift and, like, some other things. So I know how to do, like, half the stuff, and the other half, I'm like, that's uncharted territory. I can't go there. But there's, uh, what was it? It's, like, the big-ass weight on the ground, and it's kind of like a, a flexible, like, rod in it and they put like really heavy weights on it and then they lift it up and then they'll just hold it here and then they drop it what's that called it's kind of like a deadlift but it's it feels more advanced than a deadlift maybe I'm just doing like baby's first deadlift so I don't consider it a deadlift I guess it's kind of like a deadlift. Either way, he was doing that. <laughs> and he went to, like, pick it up. And he, uh, I don't know what he did, but he was like, Cha! and he, like, let out a, like, Cha! and he dropped it. And he was just, like, shaking his hand. And then he'd, like, rub his knee or something. And he was just like, <sighs> And I was like, uh, I think he's all right. <laughs> I think he was just trying to lift more than he could, and then he couldn't do it. <laughs> trying to, like, lift more than he could just to be like, yo, bro, look what I can do. <laughs> yep. Uh, doo doo doo. Uh, then I don't know what else. Uh, oh no, everyone else has been pretty normal. So I mean, there any, I don't know. Is there any crazy people? I don't even think I've seen any crazy people. I expected more crazy people at the gym, and I haven't seen really that many. I've used that, and I also have no idea what they're called. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I'm the crazy one. I don't know. It's possible. There was like some 40 year old woman that was like insanely buff. Like crazy. She's doing those, like, uh, stair climber things. Oh, I can't clear it. I can't clear it anymore. Uh, just always doing the stair climber stuff. 
Lucky those kind you like. All right. Well, I gotta sell a bunch of this shit. Okay. How oh, you know it's good or not doesn't matter. It's probably all trash. Probably all trash. Uh, just sell it all. I already know that. Uh, okay, except the Serenite. Keep that. Good. Good fortune to our Good friends. fortune. I have many, many, many wares. wares. What's your lucky do? Upper spire. All right, well that's one wing down. Let's go uh, to the vampire one. How buff is insanely buff? Cause I got some good ideas of insane buff. Not like Bajira, like insane muscles, but like she looked like she could play a professional sport. You know what I mean? Ooh, what the shit? Uh, but I, don't know. I do my thing. I work out for like 30, 40 minutes. I do my routine and I'm like, all right, and then I leave. But I do it like every other day or like every, I try it for like every other day. And I've done every other day, like 95% of the time. Some days I've waited like three days, but I've still been pretty good, pretty consistent. Shall face their might combined. Rise up, brothers, uh, and destroy our enemies. Destroy our enemies. Naxana was merely a setback. Blood power. Come, come on in, come on in. Have his vengeance. There we go. Oh, whoops. Uh. Anybody else here go to the gym? Do you have fun at the gym? Actually, how often is everybody going to the gym if you go to the gym? Kind of curious. Am I in 10, man? Uh, oh my god, it's on normal! What the shit? It changed it again! Cool. Well, I think this one will actually let me finish it, right? <laughs> With heroic. Unlike Cataclysm. Okay. Good. Okay. Except. What? Very nice. Thing is, like, I don't do cardio at the gym. If I want to do cardio, I just go walk around, like, just, uh, I'll walk around, like, outside or, like, at the mall or just, I'll go to places where I can people watch like I said earlier because then I get con it's like killing two birds with one stone you get funny stories and you exercise like if you walk outside and you walk past like bars and stuff you'll see people like yelling at each other being like and just being dumb it's great Come on. 
There we go. We were all getting along. So do, 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 do. Hey. Alright, one more wing. Oh wait, it's the wrong way. I gotta do cardio and weightlifting or else I get no progress because my body sucks. Though specifically only the cardio that's worked for me is the demon machine called elliptical. Oh yeah, I know the elliptical. The elliptical. <laughs> elliptical. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Uh, here we go this way. It's too far away. Whee! All right. One more wing. Target. Stiffened corpse shoulder pads. Huh. Sell for 600 gold on the auction house for like a transmog? Dude, I'll sell those on the auction house. <laughs> Leggings? You know, sell those on the auction house, who knows? Alright. <laughs> Ew. Get the shit? I'm just getting all the stuff. Granted, that's like useless, but you know. You look a lot cooler with that beard and hair. Thanks, dude. I mean, I agree. <laughs> That's a lot better than me looking like shaved head and no beard being like, Dolo! <laughs> but you know, that was also eight years ago. Seal of many mouths. I almost thought it said mounts, and I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't hit the guys. Auction add-on is auctionator. Auctionator. Like the Terminator, but for auctions. Da -da -da. You look like someone who's in the military before. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. What should I do when my elbows hurt after I lift? I don't know. I don't have that issue. So I don't know what to do. You pay! I'm out of range. Go, go, go. Ben time. Terrible news, everyone. Terrible news, everyone. But great news, everyone. Yeah, I used to look exactly like the Goblin Trash Master in Magic the Gathering. I really did. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Astounding! There we go. Duh. Distant lane? That's okay. Hit that. Whoops. All right. What lifts are you doing that hurt your elbows? Yeah, what lifts are you doing that hurt your elbows? Am I gonna stream magic when it relaunches? Probably. Depends what arena draft they got up, or whatever draft they got up, because that's the main thing I play. Is there a link to your football podcast anywhere? Uh, yeah. Uh, here you go. We just recorded a new one today. This is from last week. The one we did today includes Bear Taffy. Bear Taffy joined us. And will probably be an ongoing member of the show as long as he has time. So it's uh, me, and Victor, Rob, and Bear talking about football. Do, 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 do. It's 
too far away. Good news, everyone. Good news, everyone. I think I perfected a plan that would destroy all life on Azeroth. Right. Two oozes, one room. Yeah, it's so called three guys talking about football, but now we've got four guys talking about football. So we're going to have to change the name again. <laughs> No, we recorded, uh, we recorded the newest episode today. So it'll probably go up tomorrow. I gotta edit it, but like, I don't want to edit it because I've already recorded stuff today. I did that. I did a new fishing with Crendor with S. Feigned, uh, and then... I woke up at 9 a.m. after getting three hours of sleep, so I'm like barely awake right now. <laughs> All right. All right, let's head on up. Head on up. It's weird, normally when I get three hours of sleep like this, it's when I travel. Like normally that's what happens, cause you gotta wake up early for a flight. So I'm like, all right, gotta go to bed early and wake up at like 7 a.m. But it's a lot less stressful and taxing on yourself when it's just uh, randomly waking up cause you slept too much the day before. Pretty much I slept like 10 hours the day before. So I woke up at like, <laughs> 4 p.m. and I was like oh I uh, slept a lot because I woke up at noon on Sunday to watch the Packer game so I think my body just compensated for that and then uh, I ended up drinking coffee at like midnight which would be like drinking coffee around now and I kind of kept drinking it like slowly till like 1 30 a.m. so that didn't help anything so I wasn't as tired as I normally was because I slept a lot and then I had coffee and so I fell asleep at like 5.30 a.m. And then I just woke up at 9 a.m. Because of uh, just loud-ass lawnmowers outside. Like I was like, all right, I woke up. Maybe I can go back to sleep. And then it was just like... <laughs> I was like, all right, well, looks like I'm not going back to sleep. Normally I could sleep through that, but not with these circumstances. <laughs> so I was like, screw it. I'll just get up at normie time. So I got up at normie time. It's terrible. Never doing it again. Early for me is like 11 a.m. That's like the earliest I want to wake up if I have to get up early. How do you heal the dragon? You don't have to. You can just walk past her. They've changed it. Worst Dungeon Master, 18 months. 18 months. Woot, have you had any weird dreams lately? I dreamt my friend faked her death and left me miss... Left me list of reasons why I'm a good friend. What the shit? <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Swag. Uh... There's a, I've had weird dreams, but I haven't remembered them. That's my problem. I haven't written any down, so I don't actually remember them. But I do know I've had some weird dreams. Uh, I wish I didn't have to wake up at normie time. <laughs> the thing is, like, I've been going to bed late for so long. My, my circadian rhythm or whatever, my body clock's just used to it. I started waking up at normie time, and you know what I realized? That normies, their lives must be boring, so there's nothing to do in the morning. That's what I felt, too. Like, all I would do is the same stuff I normally do. I guess I don't... Like, I like a nice middle ground. 9 a.m. is too early. 10.30 a.m. is getting a little better. I can work with 10.30 a.m. That's what I used to wake up when I had, like, college. Uh, and then... 
Ideally, I think like 11 a.m. to noon is like my ideal wake up time. Because then it's like, you know, 4 a.m. going to bed. That's pretty good. 3.34, you get your eight hours of sleep. You still get some night time, especially in the winter when it gets darker earlier. You usually want to go to bed earlier. Jorgar with the 25 month tier two. Hooray, let Krendor know it's your 25 month anniversary. Thank you, Jorgar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, five. Swag and have some snaps for that tier two sub. Thank you, Jorgar. Yeah, we Rob's a Jets fan, so we first thing we talked about was losing to the Browns. <laughs> I feel like 11, 12 this is ideal time this most things start. Well, here's the thing. It's early enough to where you can still get breakfast. I like the concept of going out and getting breakfast at a place because you can get brunch, and brunch is vastly superior to breakfast. No doubt about it. <laughs> oh, whoops. He's dead. No map. No mount. That's okay. That's all right. That's fine, man. You don't need mounts. Okay. Just go to breakfast places that are open until 2 p.m. Well, that's the thing. That's what I'm talking about. When you wake up at, you know, noon, you got to, like, fully wake up, and then you got to, like, you know, be like, all right, and then you gotta get ready to leave, and then by the time you get there, it's gonna be like almost one. So like, you got an hour to eat. So I mean, that's pretty solid. So that's why waking up at noon or twelve thirty is like the ideal for you know the uh, the late night sleep person. Words. Uh, okay. Let's sell all this stuff. I have many, many lucky, lucky dudes. dudes. Let's sell all this. Sell all this. Sell all this. Okay. Okay. Um. Train four seven two with two months RP timer resub. Thank you, train. One two. Sword. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I was on 25 man heroic. I swapped it mid uh, mid raid. Let's see, where do I want to go next? Hold on, let me check down here. Let me pull up in my mounts. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't want anything like super long. Vault of Archivash, show this, Storm Peaks. Firelands. Honestly, I could do Dragon Soul too. I mean, both of them are like. I can do Dragon Soul pretty quick at this rate. I might just do that. I honestly don't mind doing Dragon Soul. It's not as bad as I think it was when I first started it, now that I know how to do the spine efficiently. Daylight's burning. Uh, why is there nothing here? There's nothing here earlier. All the bosses just stopped spawning. I thought they're supposed to spawn like every five minutes or so. Then they just stop. Oh. <laughs> Mamma Mia. There it is. He's one of my mana wands. There we go. And now with this, I'm officially at 8150 out of 20,000. So I'm almost halfway there. And this druid has been farming these as well. I've seen him the last like three days. It's all good. I'm going to get that rat mount. I want that rat mount so bad. 
And it's not that bad to farm when you just, like, go get the bosses constantly and, like, spend it on wild mana ones. Yeah, the rat stallion. So, I mean, I'm at 81.50, so I'm almost halfway there, like I said. Uh, I got Kuafan. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, let's go to uh, Dragon Soul. When did we get to 1k viewers? A while ago. The old Northern Lion raid. The old Egghead raid. Which one? Caverns of Time. Just got my dragon form from Dragon Soul. Grats, dude. Uh, hold on, take me a thing. Hold on. I'm gonna make some tea. And P, and click on the thing to fly me there. Spirit back. All right, did I get into the streamer event tomorrow? Oh, for magic? I got invited to it. Hold on, I gotta turn my heating pad on. I need my heating pad for my muscles. But I didn't want to do it, because it's not draft. 
Like, listen, I only play Magic for the drafts. And they're like, you can build any deck you want. And I'm like, yeah, but it's not drafts. It's a dragon soul. That's it, yeah. When are we playing Magic? Uh, I mean, we can play uh, whenever the, the drafts hit. Hold on, okay, we're on Heroic. Good. <laughs> Last time I did this, it set it to normal. Just like with the, uh, the Wrath of the Lich King ICC I did before this. Get ready for the raid of a lifetime. The one and only, <laughs> the best raid. The, uh, Dragon Soul. I forgot what it was called. It's so good. Alright. Yeah, but I just, I don't know. I love, I love drafting and magic. It's my favorite thing. Twilight's hammer is retreating. Hand of Morchok. Is ours. This? Fortify your positions within. Hand of Morchok. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo. Constructed magic has more variety available than other kind. Well, I get it. I see why people like constructed magic. It just it doesn't give me the same rush as a magic draft does. I think because with a magic draft, it's uh it's every deck is different. So even if you're a really good player, you might not get a great draft. While as somebody that's bad, I could get a great draft. And you can still misplay and lose, but like and you can still draw really bad cards or not get enough land and stuff, but like I just love the RNG aspect of that. Uh so that's why. Whee! I haven't played Magic in a while though. I'm definitely down to get back into Magic. I've just been playing WoW. <laughs> Literally, I've just been playing WoW. I took a break for like a day and a half to play the new LOL mode that they took down. I was gonna play more of it, and then they just took it down. They're like, that's beta. Uh, and then I played... I played Blood Bowl every weekend. That's the other thing I play. And then me... I think I played something else. I don't know. Do -do -do -do. You got Experiment 21 to be my first time through. Damn, I want that. Dude, I've gotten the Blazing Drake. I've ran this four times, and I've gotten the Blazing Drake twice. I put it in my bank because I didn't want to delete it. <laughs> uh, I have seen new Ezreal. He looks pretty much the same except with some new art and a new W. <laughs> I mean, I'll play him. Blaze B without the blazing Drake. What a world. Loot the thing. God damn. There we go. <gasps> Dragonfire orb. Hold on. Ah, that's actually kind of cool. I always say that and then I like never use it. At least I have it in my transmog if I ever want it. Like what? When am I going to use that as an offhand? I don't know. I've gotten both the, uh, the Brewfest mounts though. Abates. I now have the Brewfest the of uh, Ram and Kodo. Hold on. The aspects have already got the ram and the kodo. Go now. So that's been pretty neat. Do, 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 do. It's kind of funny because I uh, I already had the ram. I got it like a few years back. And then I ran it on my death knight with Toaster Woman because we play our alliance characters. And so... Uh, I got the Kodo that run, and I was like, oh my god, I got the Kodo, and then she got the Ram on the same run, and then the next day I ran it on my Warrior, and I got the Ram. So I didn't even need the Ram, so I deleted it. <laughs> and I was like, why can't I just get my other mounts I want? Why do I have to get the ones I already have? I've gotten the mounts I've already had, like, three times. Then truly... Truly, we are lost. Not necessarily. I believe. Yes. 
sense. Do, do, do. It just might work. The focusing iris within For the, the Violet Proto Drake? I don't think I have the Violet the Proto Drake. Violet. Within the dragon soul. Is it what a long strange trip it's been? Oh yeah, I don't have it. <laughs> I got Brewmaster and I got Flamekeeper, but I have none of the other ones. But I, uh, I could probably get them. Well, <laughs> no, I can't. It's gonna take a while. But I got these two. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can work on it now that I'm actually trying to get mounts. I might as well try. When's the next fishing episode? Tonight. After the stream, I'm gonna put up my uh, fishing with S band. Speak freely, friend. Lotar, friend. Oh, here we go. Boring. I've had better luck in raids than dungeons. Like, all the dungeons I've been running to get those mounts on, like, repeat. I've ran them so many times and not gotten anything. Stone Core and the. Uh, the skies and Uldir, or whatever the shit that one is. Hey, nice. Bedman with the subscription. Thank you, Bedman, for subscribing. Swag. Thank you, Bedman. Hey, we did it. Praise the Titans. Praise the Titans. Praise the Titans. Entirely unexpected. Excellent. Uh. Ever since you've been bulking up at the gym, your hair has never been longer. I think this has tied my longest hair length, actually. WASD Ninja with the Twitch Prime. Thank you, WASD Ninja, for that free Twitch Prime. Thank you very much for the free Twitch Prime. You must protect us from Deathwing's forces while we imbue the dragon's soul mm -hmm. with the power of the aspects. All right. Speak to me uh, I'm also going to be fishing with uh, Mark Kern, who's like a he worked with John Stats on Vanilla WoW, so I'm excited to ask him more about Vanilla WoW and stuff like that. Uh, and get some more details on how they developed the game. And then I'm going to be doing a fishing with Krendor. <laughs> with the one, the only, Mind Flame. <laughs> Who remembers Mind Flame? In uh, the beginning of October, I'm going to be fishing with Mind Flame. Clint Hackleman. He did retire. He has a normal job. He has a normal family. He's got a kid, a wife. And I was like, Clint, do you want to come fish with me in Nostalgia Out About Wow and the old times? And he was like, I'm pretty busy, but I got time early October in the first two weekends of October. And I was like, there it is. Let's do it. So I'm going to be fishing with him in uh, a week or two. So that should be good. Yeah, Clint's great. I think Clint helped, if anything, I think Mind Flame Clint helped form my non-content into what it is. I think he kind of, he kind of molded the non-content. Like, he showed me the ways, essentially. He was like my Obi-Wan for non-content. Like, if you go back and watch some of those old vlog, or like, videos he made when we were all in LA, they were very non-content-esque. <laughs> So, should be good. I'm excited to talk to him. Uh, Dude, Mind Flame 2, like, if you remember watching his streams and stuff, he had a thing where you'd put chicken in the bucket. And back in the day, you couldn't actually give... Uh, you couldn't actually give bits or anything like that. There weren't tiered subscription. It was literally just like you can subscribe to a channel and you can give PayPal money. That was it. And so I remember him telling me, he was like, 
I'm telling you, this is the way of the future. Like, fan funding and advertisers dying off because nobody likes advertisers. And I'm like, I don't know about that, Clint. YouTube's pretty, pretty big right now. And he's like, just watch, watch in the future. Man was right. He's a crazy genius. He was right. Yep. What does he do now? Well, we'll find out when I fish with him. <laughs> Stay tuned. Oop. You look like you're playing Enhanced Taran Shaman in Classic. No, I'm not a big Shaman guy. I'm a Taran fan. Uh, hence my Taran Warrior. But I'm actually going to play like a Rogue. Probably an Undead Rogue in Classic. I mean, I played an Undead Priest in Classic WoW and an Orc Hunter. Actually, I had my Taran Warrior in Classic too. This, uh, this Warrior I have right now is from Classic WoW. But I mainly made him to PvP and to farm herbs and uh, minerals. I sense a great disturbance in the balance approaching. The chaos burns my mind. This is already the most nostalgic moment of my life. I'm you fucked. I need to sleep. Hey man, I do too. <laughs> Still better voice acting than Sylvanas. I hate modern Sylvanas's voice, dude. Greetings, champion. I'm here. Talk to you. She sounds so dumb. And even even when they put her through the filter. Just like oh, this is so no mount. Wham, 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 wham. It is done. Our well, shit. now resides within the dragon soul. Our I got a ledger transmog. What is that? Oh, ah. all right. <laughs> I will not fail this world. Do, 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 do. Welcome aboard Sounds like Shakira is drowning. That's actually, I think, one of the most accurate descriptions I've heard. He is heading to the maelstrom. We must stop him now. We may never get another chance if he escapes in the deep. We may never. I gotta take the tea bag out. Gotta take the tea bag out. Woo. But yeah, uh, that's my main thing. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like lessen the amount of videos I do on YouTube, but increase the quality. So things like more fishing with Krendors, more Machinima, more pointless top ten. Stuff like that. Pure I think uh, uh and then I just kinda I just kind of go accordingly. Cause everyone's always like, just do what you wanna do, Krendor. That's what happens to every YouTube person. They're just like, hey guys, what should I do? And they're like, just do what you feel is right. It's like, well, yeah, I know that. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm like, well, I'm going to do uh, what I'm feeling. <laughs> yeah, I'll still do Twitch VODs. Occasionally. Especially if it's like a new game or something. Or like a Blood Bowl thing. I think everybody likes Blood Bowl. And then I'll probably still do WoW levelings once I'm done playing WoW as much. Uh, no, I'm not affiliated with Machinima anymore. I haven't been affiliated with Machinima in, in a long time. 
Increase the quality top 10 vids. Well, here's the thing. They're not like top 10 reasons to keep playing WoW in 2018. Like, I don't care about it. It's pointless top 10, all right? The whole point of pointless top 10 is it's the little things you never notice, like pointless top 10 guns in WoW, or like cannons, where you're like, shit, dude, look at this cannon. Look at this cannon. It's a dragon shooting a spear out of his mouth. I never even noticed that. I could make a top 10 cannons. Like, I make it because I'm also intrigued by the things I find in WoW. That's the main reason I make it. I just hate this part because it's boring. Uh, uh oh. And I feel like when people watch it, like I did pointless top 10 grass. And people were like, oh my god, Crendor, I can't believe you did this. And I'm like, why not? Do you even watch what I do? If you really watch what I do, you would be like, pointless top 10 grass, I knew this was coming. And honestly, the grass was pretty cool. It wasn't even like some, some same shots of the same grass over and over. Like, it was actually pretty legit. I thought there was some cool grass as well. Oriana, give them hell. Oh, whoops, I missed it. Concentrate everything on the armored Drake. The armored Drake. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, coming down. Looks like I'm doing this Hey. Alright. Very good. For the horde. Here we go. The fun part. <laughs> Um, go. Let's go ahead and kill all these guys. And then, oh wait, I think I, uh, there we go. Now we just get that, kill the blood. And over. Wait, there's two of them? Why is this one alive? There we go. Why is that one alive? Why do they keep popping up? Uh, corrupted blood at six. At seven. Where's the eight? There he is. That's eight, and one more. There it is. Nine. Come on over. Hey there, Rover. Come on over. Fat man with his kids and dogs. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Do that, do that. Let's 
kill all these, bring them over here. Come on, you didn't get this one, get this one. What? No! I forgot that's a thing. <laughs> well, I needed to sell, uh, I got so, like, relaxed doing it that I forgot that was even a thing that can happen. All right, well, I can sell all my shit. Do, 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 do. Okay. The shit. Okay. <laughs> it's not tragic to die. All right, kill all these. All right. Uh, do do. All right, just gotta keep moving back and forth, back and forth. There we go. That blood, that blood. Come on, there you go. Four and back. Okay, come on. There you go. You just gotta constantly run back and forth. The fun and excitement never ends. Uh, do. Seven. Oh my god. Whoop. Eight. Nine. There we go. this guy and do get him some blood it's about to roll right about to roll left oh my god I just realized that it's because my laser matrix shit keeps hitting everything oh my god it's gonna end up killing him gonna end up killing him. Oh my god, it did! Pizza shit. Alright. <laughs> Alright, go kill that. There we go. Get this guy out of here. Come on over. Whole bunch of blood for you. Whole bunch of blood. There we go. There we go. Alright. No! Yeah, I'll just kill all the bloods, then spawn an elemental. All right, I get it. Okay. Yeah, this way seems a lot easier. <laughs> all 
All right, I think that's enough. Let's get one more. that eight there we go come on get this one there it is bunch of bloods ready to have some fun seven come on get this one god damn there we go lock it up lock it up we got this we got this there's nine come on hey there it is we good we good, we good. Hey. Thank God. <sighs> All right, here we go. Let's do it. You have accomplished the impossible. Succeeded. You have accomplished the impossible. Before you is the cache of the aspects. Take from it what you will. For you. Um All right, let's go. Lokar, friend. What is it you wish? You have done nothing. If I got a third blazing drake, I swear to god. The best worst luck. Okay, that'll be. We all right. I will slow the destroyer's attacks when I can. Last one. Get to your Sarah's platform. The end of all things. victory. Of the Emerald Tree. I now give unto the dragon soul. This is it. No map. I got another severed tentacle I don't need. Great. Well. <laughs> uh, let's go to, uh. Let's go check Winter Grasp. Where's it close to? I think Shoals are. Uh, Sholazar... Yeah, let's go there. Awesome plant in the background. Thanks, dude. Yeah, it's a good plant. Big fan of this plant. Doo-doo-doo. 
Uh, oh yeah, I can do Throne of the Four Winds too. I can do the Throne of the Four Winds. All the Pandaria stuff I can save for another day. Uh, as well as the Blackrock Foundry. Uh, yeah. Let's just check uh, Vault of Archivon. Oh, you do I have Eternity too. I forgot that's a thing. Do we own Winter Grasp? Nope, we don't. Cool. Get me out of here. <laughs> Set on down to the Eye of Eternity. I always love Winter Grasp music, though. It's like... The trumpet, the uh, the trumpet. Almost there. There's a mount in Wintergrass. Yeah, there's a, a mammoth. There is a mammoth you can get. there that's why rarity is really nice it'll just tell you all the mounts you need I like can just look through everything and uh, it'll keep track of how many times you farm a mount it'll keep track of uh, the likelihood of you getting it like how many times you've done it how long it took you to do it or like how long you've been farming it essentially I've farmed the reins of the Drake of the North Wind for two and almost two and a half hours and the stone drake over an hour and then uh once you get unlucky like with the uh, vault of archivon it tells you like hey you're getting a little unlucky there pal like oh thanks and then it actually tells you where to go to get stuff too so if you're like oh where do i get this mount it'll be like nalak isle of thunder or if you're like cold snout where's that invaders forgotten treasure the bag is rewarded for earning a gold or platinum victory in garrison invasion so yeah it's, uh, it's pretty neat. Yeah, I haven't gotten the blue proto drake. I've gotten the other one from here, but not the blue one. I'm out of range. My patience has reached its limit. I will be rid of you. I got the azure drake. That's the other one. Add-ons called Rarity, R-A-R-R-I-T-Y. Kill that one, hop on the disc. Let's go blade storming. Alright. Whee! Come on. Come on! Whatever. <laughs> How is it missing? Here we go, last one, kill him. <laughs> Alright. 
Bananagram at the five months. Lucky mount sub. Thank you, Bananagram. That means we're getting a mount. One, two, three, four, five. Swag. There were five months and the good luck. Yeah, I don't know what that was. It's just like. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I don't know what they're doing to me, man. The mortals will destroy well. everything. My Give me the loot. Give me the loot. There's the loot. No map. I, I don't care what you had to do. Get me out of here. No map. No Alright. <laughs> uh... There's the, uh, the world bosses in Pandaria. Maybe it'll put me by one of them. Or over here. Uh... Hold on, let's check over here for the, uh, rare dude. See up. Nope, he's not up. Uh, let's go check uh, a couple of the rare things. They're the world boss ones. And, uh... Then I'll just, uh, after the world bosses, I'll check the Throne of Four Winds. And that'll probably be it for me after that. <laughs> sap and Cap, five bits. Thank you for the five bits, Sap and Cap. And Mongooses with the five months. Thank you, Mongooses, for the five months. Let me get over this mountain. Uh, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. Swag. And Tiki Farm with the six months. Thank you, Tiki Farm, for the six months. One, two, three, four, five, six. Swag. Thank you, Tiki Farm. Halfway to your nerd day. Officially. Uh, what mounts have I got, though? I've gotten the Grey Riding Camel, which I was very lucky to get, so that's been a good one. Uh, I got a little Donkey from the Warfronts. Two Blazing Drakes. I got the Swift Zulian Tiger a long time ago. Uh, I got both the Brewfest Ram and the Kodo. I got Onyxia, which is pretty great. I'm glad I got Onyxia. I got the Smoldering Ember Worm from Karazhan. Uh, I finally got my Ironbound Proto Drake from the Ulduar achievements, and I got my Hyena. And then I have all the, uh, Draenor world drop mount things, except for the Void one. I have the Thundering Ruby Cloud Serpent, too. So I have a decent, a decent amount of, like, rare mounts. Hey there, any world boss here? Any world bosses? I mean, he's gotta be spawning soon, right? He's gotta be spawning soon, right? Right? I did not get any mounts from the Kael'thas ones, no. Uh... Yeah, these are usually like 15, 20 minutes. They're not that bad. Especially because there's no, like, body here and, like... 
nobody else is around, so it probably died a decent time ago, I think. So it should be spawning pretty soon. However, the uh, time it takes to wait here, it's definitely, uh, definitely something. Hey, Crendor's football podcast really kind of good when weeks wins week three drop. Um, trying to get it out tomorrow. So it should be out tomorrow. A turtle made it to the water. Kyle Gonzalez with the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Kyle Gonzalez. Swag. For the Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Do -do 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 Come on. I like a Nixia. It's a good map. Just gonna go kill these again because I want to. Part of me feels like when I kill him, it speeds up the process. It's kind of like when you press the, uh, the button to cross the street, you know, the like walking button. It makes you think like it's going to speed up the whole thing, but really all you're doing is just activating the sign that tells you that you can walk. Long time watch review and Jesse Cox had my longest source of entertainment. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks, dude. Glad I could entertain you by being myself. <laughs> Spawn. Spawn. It's gotta be coming. It's gotta be coming any second. Any second now. I know it's every 15 minutes. I'm just... I don't know when it last died. It could have been like 5 minutes ago. It could have been 14 minutes ago. I'm banking on it being... 14 minutes ago. <laughs> By the way, all the audio I've got going right now, uh, there's a chill jazz cafe music YouTube live stream. There's a heavy thunderstorm and rain sound video for eight hours and a crickets sound at night ASMR 11 hours. So with the powers combined, I'm putting myself to sleep. All right, there we go. Oh, oh, it's just the little ones. Come on. Dude, this guy's gonna drop the mount. I know it. He's gonna drop that mount. I just like killing him past the time. Look at this cool fly. I wish this guy could fly. Like, you train him to fly. 
You help him to fly, and he can't fly. If Blizzard doesn't patch in him being able to fly, I'm gonna file a ticket. I'll do it. You tell you help him to fly. He was a baby, and then you help him out, and now he knows how to fly. He should be able to fly. I also, uh... Not gonna lie. I also, uh, got Captain Crackers. I got Captain Crackers. Look at that bird. That's my kind of pet. A pirate parrot. And if you whistle at him... goes on your shoulder now that's quality that was well worth my ten dollars in the blizzard store I was gonna waste that money on something stupid anyway and instead I got a cool parrot All right, so I must have just barely missed this guy dying because it's been uh, it's been like ten minutes. Do 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 do. Here it comes. He's gonna start popping up any second. Any second. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna get my leftover Subway sandwich. So I wait for this. Yeah, they changed it so it only spawns at this location. What's everybody order from Subway? I'm pretty plain. I get a turkey sub. On honey oat. Honey oat's a solid bread. Look at that sub. Look at that sub. Mmm. Damn, we got a wide variety of orders. Whoa! Finally! All right. 
No, I don't even just take me to. I don't want to do the world bosses. I can do that later. Take me to Uldum. tonight thought you'd be raiding with reset oh they're playing uh destiny <laughs> they're all playing destiny losers playing it off stream so we were just chilling off stream <laughs> all right let's go get a map Final mount before I'm done. I can't handle this anymore. The disappointment. Let's get this map. I think you can only do it on heroic, right? Seven year laughter, 25 good luck bits. Thank you for the good luck bits, seven year laughter. Whee! This is it. We're gonna get it. We gotta get it, right? I can't drink yet. It's gotta happen. This is it. Oh wait, I clicked the wrong thing. Woo! Uh, do why three five dollars? Hey, Krendor, this is a real question. I was wondering before you got your girlfriend, were you scared of being alone forever and really struggling with this mental hurdle? Uh, I mean, I did have a phase where I was afraid of that actually. Uh, so you're not alone. Uh, we. 
But yeah, I think everybody goes through that. I mean, that's just being a human. No human wants to, like, be alone. Well, I guess there's, like, a few, but, like, you know. I think it's normal. Especially if you're younger. So, I mean, I didn't even meet Toaster Woman until I was, like, 20... Three? Four. I was, like, 23 or 24. So, yeah. Wait, where's my loot? Oh, here it is. I'm 20. Yeah, you got plenty of time. I still did. Yeah, I didn't meet her for another four years. Uh, four, five, three, three, four, three. I was 23 or four. Either way, you got some years. Whoop. Alright, he wants to go down. <laughs> what? Um. Hey! Oh my god. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> uh, alright. Either way, I'm done. <laughs> No mounts, but you know what? Sometimes it's just the way it is. Sometimes you get no mounts. You just gotta work towards getting those mounts in the future. Either way, thanks for watching everybody. If you're new here, click the follow button, follow along, be alerted when I go live. Also, check out all links below the stream. Whole bunch of links down there. Uh, we got Twitter, Patreon, Crenslot.com, subscribe tips, Amazon, Chrono GG, YouTube, Jinx, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all down below. Uh, new fishing with Crendor should be going up tonight. Hopefully it's processed. If not, it'll be up in the morning. Either way, it'll go up pretty soon. Um, uh, yeah. Thanks to everybody who subscribed, resubscribed, dropped bits, donated, gifted subs. Thank you for all the support. Very much appreciated. Um, and yeah. I'll be back tomorrow. Okay. Okay. See you.